Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today's theme is Trust Him All the Time. I'm taking it out of the the Living Bible paraphrase, and I am in Psalm 64. When you are faced with many challenges, and we're talking about challenges, not just from anyone, we're talking about wicked men, wicked women. We're talking about people who have much power, fame, and wealth, okay? You have got to have the type of faith that's going to move mountains. You have got to be so close to the Lord that when you pray, things get done, that the angels of the Lord is going to fight your battles with these wicked men and women. Some people feel like they're powerless against some of the big names out here. You know, they feel like they can't get ahead because some folks got their feet on their necks. You see, when you know that there are individuals that are like this in your industry, it would make sense that number one, Confess your sin because to be amongst some individuals that are wicked, chances are you did some unrighteous things. And what wicked people do is they hold negative things that you have said and done, mistakes, whatever you want to call them, over your head. And they threaten you. And they try to make you operate the way they want you to operate. They use various power and control tactics. Please do check out the power and control wheel. It's often used when it comes to domestic violence, but it comes in handy also when you know that you are teamed up with some individuals who are ungodly because you can be able to see the types of tactics that they're using to keep you bound to them. If you are on this channel, you are looking to be free out of situations. You're not looking to make up any excuses or shoot the messenger or, you know, nitpick or, you know, come up with just another excuse as to why you got to be connected with some people that are downright evil. You're ready to do something different. You're ready to come up higher. You're ready to walk with the, with, with the Lord. You're ready to make some changes in your life. And Is it going to be painful at times? Absolutely. Are there going to be times where you're going to lose the people that you love? Yes, if they're ungodly and wicked and they're all about money and they're all about power and all of that. This is uh, challenging times is when you can recognize, okay, who is friend and who is foe, even down to the family members. Because we've got the gatekeepers in a lot of these families that are about protecting the wealth. And when they mark somebody who they don't like, they're going to make sure that those folks don't get the things that they have worked hard for or they receive through inherited wealth. Okay. But God sees these sorts of things take place. And so what he does is he gets us prepared for the battles. Some folks aren't preparing for the battle because they don't spend any time with the Lord. Some folks are so blinded by all of the material wealth and they're blinded by all of the manipulation and everything that these wicked people do that they can't fight. They're weak. But for you who I see the truth and I'm tired of people telling me that what I see isn't truth. You're ready. You're ready for the fight. But you got to confess your sin. You got to stop sinning and you got to change your mindset about sin because you see wicked people convince you that pettiness, ungodliness, lies, lust, stealing, killing is all good and it all has its place and you're going to help us and you're going to do this. And if you don't do this, then there's consequences. Okay, that's what wicked people do. Wicked people blackball, wicked people exaggerate, wicked people rally support from other folks. These are all messages that I have already done. Okay, in detail. But we're going into the scriptures. Because in the scriptures is where there is empowerment. This book isn't to be taken lightly. That's why the enemy uses people to say, don't believe in that book. That book is a bunch of fairy tales because the enemy knows that 
There is power in the word. And he knows that when you walk with Christ, that you're going to destroy him or his plans. Okay. The things that he keeps using against you to get what he wants, not what you want. Initially, it looks like you're in the mix, but the truth of the matter is, is that it's about him. It's about who he likes the most. And then he eats them up. He destroys them. He steals from them. He confuses them. He takes from their families. Some of you all have been victims of this and others you have witnessed people's careers steadily decline. People's health steadily decline. People's wealth steadily decline. And you said, well, I don't want that to happen to me. So you worked out certain deals. Some of you all, you weren't a part of it, but you know some people who were. And they are crying and they're pleading and they're asking for all sorts of help. They're asking for some support. They want to know who knows who in order to get certain establishments done away with. Psalm 64. Lord, listen to my complaints. Oh, preserve my life. Some people, they're concerned about their lives. They're concerned about their family's lives. Because wicked people do threaten to murder. And some have a long history of killing off some people. I shouldn't even say some. There are many, especially in the upper echelons of different establishments. Blood is definitely on their hands. And we can sit around and talk about why and, you know, why do they get away with what they get away with. It's not even an issue of why. What we need to be focused on is what is God going to do? And how can we be used effectively in order to get some things done so that the madness can stop? Lord, listen to my complaint. Oh, preserve my life from the conspiracy of these wicked men. Notice conspiracy has been thrown around a lot. Even when there is no conspiracy, there's just fact. And some of these folks that uh, people thought were quite dumb and ignorant and, you know, all you're going to do is rap certain songs and, you know, you're going to just keep the masses entertained. They started getting some intelligence about what is really taking place and how they're being used to hurt others, how um, they're used to uh, get property and uh, get connections and destroy people and all of that. And so they start running their mouths and unfortunately things happen to shut them up. But there are still people talking, praise God, and there's still people walking away from certain groups and there's still people um, destroying some of the wicked's plans and praise God for them, even at the expense of their lives. And I'm sure you can think of some recent celebrities who they didn't just happen to pass away uh, because of this illness and that one. A lot of this stuff lately has been systematic. The Lord showed me in the spirit and you can do the necessary research if you don't want to go with the spiritual realm um, and what is truth. You can definitely do your research and everything that the Lord shows is backed up with evidence and proof. And so those individuals who have tried to alert the masses, well, they're in a better place. Praise God. If they were believers, if they trusted in the Lord um, and uh, if they just made peace through their suffering. Lord, listen to my complaint, O preserve my life from the conspiracy of these wicked men, these gangs of criminals, okay? That's what they are. They got some fancy names, some entertaining names or what have you, but these gangs of criminals, okay? They cut me down with sharpened tongues, all right? Some of you all whistleblowers, some of you who have spoke truth even to your own families. They cut me down with sharpened tongues. They aimed their bitter words like arrows straight at my heart. So some of you all have even experienced heart attacks and, you know, uh, heart ailments, um, rapid uh, pace, hearts and anxiety and all of that. Right. Because their words are shooting straight into your heart. They're stressing you out. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. 
you know you're innocent, but then somebody keeps lying on you, keep exaggerating, keep saying all sorts of ugly about you to family, to friends, you know, to people in establishments and so forth. That would make you angry. And this is what some of these people are going through. OK, because they're innocent and they're telling the masses, they're telling the public, I'm innocent. I'm not on drugs. But there's people around me that will put drugs around me or put drugs in my drinks or put drugs in my food so that I'm addicted again so that I cannot continue to speak the truth to you all. Some of these folks are saying, I'm innocent. I was innocent. The dead will even speak. Right? If God allows it, the dead will even speak. That was innocent blood that was shed. Suddenly the deed is done, right? We see, oh, the caskets on television, another one gone from us. The deed is done, yet they were not afraid. You see, as you get older and more mature and you get tired of being used and abused, you're no longer afraid. The youth, right, the ones that are so concerned about what someone might say or might think and all of that, the mature, so-called mature individuals who, I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. Why? Because you got something, right? You got something that you're trying to protection, protect. You know, you got family and all this other stuff. But sometimes you got to rock the boat. And they're not going to take everybody out. They just might take you out. And you might be the martyr. But then it may not be you. It may be somebody around you. But I just don't want that to happen. Some things are going to happen. If Jesus died on the cross, you might as well just accept the fact that there's going to be those people who are going to speak truth and they are going to die as a result of speaking truth in all its forms, not just gospel, but all its forms. Right. And they were innocent, but the enemy is going to paint the picture as if they were guilty all along and that they had never recovered from drugs and they had never, you know, got their lives cleaned up and that they were always messed up. And then they're going to put them out there on all these different shows to show you just how messed up they are. Right. Right. And you're going to believe it. But why? Why suddenly are they painting the ugly picture when you haven't heard from this person in a while? And then when they do finally come out, they start telling truth about this group and that group and all the mess that they went through. Why would they do that? Because they don't want you to value what they say they are discrediting them and so if you don't do your research and you don't look and and study and find out not just the scripture study and show thyself approved unto god right but you're also studying and finding out about what is it that you know they ended up dying for then you're going to be you're going to be uh, manipulated just like they were for a long time before they woke up. Oh, that's such a pity that so-and-so got back on those drugs. Do you really think if they were clean for 20 plus years and, and their family is doing well and they're doing well and oh, so now they're just going to jump back into the drugs. Not everybody's just jumping back into drugs. Okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. So they shoot from ambush at the innocent. Suddenly the deed is done, yet they are not afraid. They encourage each other to do evil. Now, I talked about they are not afraid when referencing, um, you know, the, the innocent. But then the evil ones, they are not afraid. They're not afraid of what the government's going to do. They're not afraid of uh, really being found out when they got enough layers and layers of protection upon them with all sorts of front groups and social circles and, you know, fan clubs and, you know, all of this. They're not concerned. They encourage each other to do evil. Oh, so-and-so said that about our organization. Yep. Went on television, started running their mouths. I'm starting to make, you know, uh, books and, you know, videos and everything. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. Well, we know what to do. Oh, so you want me to take them out? Yeah, go ahead. You know, there's some folks that we can call on. What's their weakness, right? Play on that weakness. Uh, what is it that the public already knows about them? Okay. Well, we'll just orchestrate a story real quick that will make the public think. That, uh, you know, they went back on drugs or, you know, they're back to collecting guns again. I mean, come on now. You know, this is this is elementary. You know, the public, they'll believe just about anything. I mean, along with the police and, you know, law enforcement. I mean, come on now. We did it before. We'll do it again. 
this is the kind of stuff that goes on behind the scenes there have been those whistleblowers who have alerted the public about the negative folks the wicked folks the opportunist folks the powerful individuals they will even say it's a very powerful group that's behind this and that right and some folks got all sorts of names for these groups and then they didn't want the names being spread around so then they started associating the names with just about anything and everything so this way the public wouldn't take some of these secret groups there we say it seriously because well if you call in everything illuminati you ain't going to really pay close attention to the real illuminati who most likely changed their name or has no name but you so focus on calling everything and everybody something meanwhile you're not paying attention to you know some of the other details that are taking place the story unfolding and who's next on the list to go okay so what do they do verse uh, 5 of uh, Psalm 64 they meet in secret to set their traps okay this is real it's not conspiracy okay some people do it at the workplace right Ooh, so and so's always in meetings and then when they come out they looking quite uh, happy when they went in, they was looking all troubled and upset and worried. Then they come out, they're all happy. And then a week or so later, somebody ends up out of a job. They meet in secret to set their traps. He will never notice them here, they say. They keep a sharp lookout. Notice, how, are, how is a group going to keep a sharp lookout? They're going to use media. They're going to use media. They're going to use those folks, you know, that don't like their enemies that they have made you not like so that you can report back on just about anything and everything where they're going who they're seeing what media outlet they spoke to paparazzi does more than just run around and take pictures they follow folks and report back and get paid quite handsomely for the pictures and for you know uh, anything that they can get their hands on concerning what a celebrity is up to so the eyes are everywhere. That's why you get the one eye symbol here, there, and everywhere. Communicating who is affiliated to who and what this particular topic is about here, there, and everywhere. And then you got signs and color schemes and symbols. So they keep a sharp lookout for opportunities of what? Crime. That's the whole point of it all. Crime. How do we get more money? How do we get more opportunity? How do we get connected with this group and that group? What do we have to do? Who do we have to kill? Uh, who do we have to steal from? Who do we have to overthrow? Who do we have to be friends? They spend what? Do they spend what? Just a couple minutes coming up with this stuff? No, that's what some people do with their research. They come up with a few, you know, pieces of information and then they put it everywhere no people who orchestrate wicked schemes they spend long hours with all their endless evil thoughts and plans while you're sleeping they're staying up in the wee hours of the night coming up with something else because why some of these wicked people are petty people illogical they will destroy an entire group or even kill a person just because they said the wrong thing did the wrong thing or hey for sport some people enjoy killing people for sport. Verse 7, but God himself will do what? Shoot them down. But when, Lord, when? Let's not be concerned about when because when is a distraction. Why is a distraction? Okay, of course the enemy is going to come and use, dare we say it, intelligent minds to nitpick on the scriptures. While you nitpicking about everything you don't like or don't agree with, the enemy is up to all sorts of schemes, spending long hours, spending long hours coming up with his plans to keep you distracted, brainwashed, mind controlled. But God himself will shoot them down. Suddenly his arrow will pierce them. Uh -oh. This group, their little scheme backfired on them. This group, uh oh, somebody from the wrong side of the law ends up dying. And he happened to be the mastermind behind all the craziness. Uh oh, somebody's son ended up dying because of some mafioso affiliations or some type of connections 
And then this one was talking, uh oh, so now we're seeing some divisiveness between the wicked groups. They don't get away with too much of anything when it all is said and done. It seems like it on the surface, but then <laughs> karma, justice, God, God himself will shoot them down. Suddenly his arrow will pierce them. They will stagger backward, destroyed by those they spoke against. All who see it happening will scoff at them. Then everyone shall stand in awe and confess the greatness of the, listen, miracles of God. That's a miracle that that family ended up coming down. The whole establishment destroyed. That's a miracle that those folks got out alive. After all that mess that that man did and his, uh, you know, partners, that's a miracle that they finally stopped having all them entertainers parading around doing all that dirt. That's a miracle. See that that arrow that God shoots against them can come in many different forms in many different ways. When you think that the arrows come in one way, it comes five and six and seven different ways. Okay. Then everyone shall stand in awe and confess the greatness of the miracles of God. At last, they will realize what amazing things he does. See, at last, because up until that point, some of you all going through much trial, you know, oh, I don't see God doing too much anything. Hmm. Hang on for a while. You're going to see some things and you're going to be amazed. That is so amazing. Oh, my goodness. It really is a God. He's really working on my behalf. Oh, my God. Some of them fall over. Because they're just so excited that finally God got their back on something. And then in verse 10, and the godly shall rejoice in the Lord and trust and praise him. What does it say? It's the godly. It's that woman who says, hallelujah, praise the Lord right there in the, on the television. Okay, screen. Oh, you know, she's a believer. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Justice was finally served. It was nothing but God. I tell you, it was nothing but God. Yes, Christ is at work. I'll tell you that all these years, I just prayed and prayed and prayed. And finally, that group is done away with. Oh, my. Thank you. Thank you. And all these years, I just can't believe I didn't believe that God was alive, that he was, you know, real. You see? And the godly shall rejoice in the Lord and trust and praise him. Trust and praise God for what you want him to do in tearing down establishments, in uh, doing the types of things that is going to change places like Hollywood. Change places, Lord Jesus, like the gutters across America. Lord Jesus, I'm seeing things in the spiritual realm concerning uh, people like Trump, as well as Trump himself. God is doing a number of things. And sometimes it takes some of the most unlikeliest people to get the job done, whether they're in the front line or whether they're behind the scenes. And I'm seeing people like Hillary and I'm seeing people like Bernie Sanders. Sometimes you don't need to be out there in the open, out there in the open. You might end up being that puppet on strings. A lot of the most powerful people I'm talking about on the righteous side. You don't know their names no more than you know who the devilish people in some of the secret groups that kill, steal, and destroy are either. So understand that there are godly people on the right side that you don't know about. And their groups are indeed secret. And then there are those individuals who are evil on Satan's side. And you don't know their groups either. You just know of them. Because on either side, they can't let too much information come out because, of course, people would destroy plans. I thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Understand that God, he will amplify scripture on any situation, on any modern day topic. 
and that it's not always about what happened back in the day with David and others. These things are going on right now, right now. Ask the Lord to protect your family from all harm and danger. There's wars and more wars coming up ahead in these uh, in these last days. So you might as well brace yourself. And to God be the glory. Please do check the description box for anything related to your situation. And thank you for listening.